Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn how to inject a service in a component. So in my previous video, I shown you how to create some set of services by using Angular CLI command. Now we will see how to inject these services into a particular component. So let me jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, what I'll do is I'll create a very sample service with a particular message and I want to display that message in our UI. So that, that's what a very simple thing which I want to do. Now, how to create a service? Already we know that ng generate service and the service name is something like message service for me and I don't want to create any spec files. So I'm just skipping that test files and hit enter. So now I have created a message service and what I'll do is I'll just try to create some set of variables or a methods inside our service. So let me go into message service and let me create a variable over here. So let me use something like public message and I'm using something like a string where my string value is something like welcome to services series. So let me use this. Now I want to display this message in our HTML. Actually speaking, HTML does not have a communication with our service till now. Now I will create a bridge for creating that services communication. So let me go into app.component.ts and what I will do is I'll inject that service into our application and how we can do that. Let's see. So let me create a constructor and inside this constructor, I can use something like private, public or any of the access specifiers. Now let me use public. I'll tell you what is the problem if we are using private and when we can use private. So now I'll use something like message service. This is the variable, whatever the reference you want to give, you can give. And if you observe, we are creating a reference for that service, but not the object. So let me use message service and now save this. So now we may be getting some set of doubts why this message service is referring to a message service. That means we are just referring why, why not we are creating an object or an instance. Actually speaking, whenever you see this particular service, there is a decorator that is nothing but injectable decorator. And this decorator is having an option called as provided in as root. That means this service can be used throughout your application and it is not restricted for any of the module. So that's what you have to remember. So whenever it is pointing to a root, then who is creating that object? Actually speaking, whenever you run the application or whenever you try to use that application in the browser on the instance or on the load of the application, all our services which are related to a particular module will be loaded. And at the time of loading, Angular will create an instance for all the services which are related to that particular module. And now whenever we are using a public message service and message service reference, this message service will point to the service object which is created by Angular. That means we don't need to create any of the objects in our application. So it will create a singleton object and that singleton object can be injected into our services. That's why we are not creating any of the objects. So let me copy this message service and go here into the HTML and just let me use something like h1 tag and this h1 tag I can use an interpolation so I can use this message service inside our HTML because that is an instance which is created for us in our component.ts and already we know that component.ts can be communicated with our component.html so let me use dot and we have a variable called as message. So let me copy this and put it over here. So let me use something like message just for our understanding. Let me save this. Go here. You can see message welcome to services series. That means we are getting this message from our service. That is point number one. And one more thing we need to discuss is why we are using public. Why not private? For example, let me use a private variable and save this and go to your application which is running in the terminal. So if you see here property message service is private and only accessible within the class component. That means if you want to use a service in your HTML, then it has to have a access specifier that is nothing but public. If the public exists, 
only such variables I can use in my HTML that's why we should not use private when we have to use private whenever you are using that service only within the component.ts not in the HTML then you can use private specifier but here I am using the service inside my HTML hence we can make this as public access specifier so now I am using this here and just go here and reload now we are getting the data and you can see it compiled successfully for example I am not using this service over here and let me go into component.ts and I just want to print here console.logoff this dot message service dot you can see the intelligence as well we are having message let me save this now instead of using public I can use private why because the logic or the service is utilized only in the component.ts file not in the html hence we can make it as private so this is how you need to define a access specifier for a particular service now let me save this and this is how you can inject a service into your application and you can use in your component.ts component.html wherever you want so that's how we can use this injection process for our services so we have another method of injection also we will see in the upcoming video how to inject a service not in the constructor by using the inject method which is given by angular in the latest versions so we'll discuss about inject method in the upcoming video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you